we're going to consider how to create the body of your APA style paper. This is the meat of the paper, the most important part. The rest, formatting the paper, creating the citations, those are the foundation or the scaffolding. But here in the body of the paper, we're going to flesh it out and make it beautiful. Scared? You shouldn't be. It won't be so overwhelming if you build it step by step. Most papers will have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. That makes three sections. In the body, let's say, for the sake of an example, that you're going to make three points. You're now at five sections. APA addresses these sections as levels. If we stop there, each of these sections will be level one. But then, because our example is a relatively complex paper, each of your three points will have two divisions. These divisions will be level two. Confused? Let's think of it as an outline. You've probably had to make an outline in your English classes in the past. Roman numerals stand for major topics and capital letters for subtopics. Here, each of the Roman numerals writes a level one heading. Letters of the alphabet indicate level two headings. In an even longer, more complex paper, you might have to divide those subheadings further, but in this video, we're assuming that these two levels are adequate. Only you and your instructor know just how long your paper needs to be. Maybe you don't need so many categories, or maybe you need to divide the subcategories. You decide. But most important, plan this out ahead of time. Do your hard thinking first. The first page of the body of your paper is page two. Type the paper title in title case, center, and bold. This is what a level one heading looks like. You will have other level one headings in your paper, and those will also be bold and centered. For the introduction of a paper without an abstract, this heading is the title of your paper. Write your introductory paragraph. Look back at your outline. It's time for your next level one heading, which should be the same as Roman numeral two in your outline, inadvertent misinformation. Bold, center, and title case. Throughout the body of your paper, each paragraph is indented. It's probably easiest to push tab at the beginning of each paragraph. You could set up the paper to indent the first line, but then you'd have to undo it with each level two heading. And speaking of level two headings, we're there. On the next line, right before that paragraph, you want your first level two heading, misunderstandings. Level two headings are bold, left aligned, and in title case. You're writing a research paper. That means you have to do research. You want to search for information in, on your topic in research databases and on trustworthy websites, such as government sites and professional organizations. When you're doing your research, if you come across an article that you might want to quote, save it. You can print it, download it to a folder you create for your paper, or just save the permalink, but don't count on finding it again otherwise. It's easiest if you create all your references as you gather them. Why should you do this now, when you could end up deleting the reference if you don't use it? It will save you time and trouble later. Right now, you know where you got this information. You even know the exact page where you found your quotation. Later, you'll have to find valuable time trying to find it again. We're going to leave the body of your paper for now and move to the end for your references. Just like you did at the end of the title page, go to Insert and choose Page Break. References is also a level one heading. Do you remember what you do with level one headings? Bold and center. Now let's go back to left justified. Undo the bold. This time though, instead of indenting each paragraph, we will use hanging indent. Go to the little arrow by paragraph and under special, choose hanging and okay. 
As you type your citations, each of them should have the hanging indent without you having to tell it again. Now let's say you have all your citations complete. Now we want them in alphabetical order. That's alphabetical order regardless of what the first word is. Author, title, description, it makes no difference. In the desktop version of Word, select them all, everything except the heading references. Just click on the first one and draw down to the last. Go up to this A to Z symbol, choose paragraphs, OK, and voila, everything is in alphabetical order. This only works in the desktop version of Word, though. There's no option to alphabetize in the Office 365 version. Let's go back to the body of your paper. There's one more point I want to make. Do you remember when I said that having all your references finished makes in-text citations a breeze? You're typing along, writing about an interesting idea that you found in your research. Where did that idea come from? One of your authors, Cornette. When your instructor, or even you yourself, want to know exactly where you got that information, you just go to Cornet in the references. Our other videos show you how to format your citations, create in-text citations, and lay out your paper.